This week's Tuesday tip. I want to talk about Sanchindachi. Sanchindachi is not a well-utilized stance in Shorakan Karate. In fact, most Shorakan Karateka probably only do Sanchindachi when they do Nijishio or Unsu. But Sanchindachi has great value and if utilized correctly, the blow emanating from a stance such as Sanchindachi can be immensely powerful, but only if done correctly. Now, if we do Zenkutsudachi, you've got momentum. With Sanchindachi, you're virtually on the spot. So, how do we make power? The power is made from adduction, inward compression, and dropping the center of gravity. But there, therein lies the problem, because the majority of people, they've been told for, for years, for decades, more down, more down by the Japanese instructors. So they try to get too far down. Now, if I take Sanchadachi, let, let, let's just start how, how we get to it. <coughs> then there's a line. The toe of the foot I'm pointing is on the line. The heel of the foot I'm pointing to is on the line. And it is created, the power is created by adduction, but most importantly, the lifting of the pelvis. Now, if you try this, st stick your butt backwards. Try and contract your thighs towards one another. Very little contraction. Lift that pelvis forward and contract. Now, at the end point of your blow, that's where that contraction comes in. You see what I'm doing? Now, the look must be in hourglass. This is called Sanchandachi, hourglass stance. Now, the fault where people fall into is they try to go down, and by going down, you watch me, in fact, let me do it this way. When they go down too much, look what happens to the butt. Now, if you have your butt in this position here, impossible to contract correctly, to utilize adduction correctly, and at the moment of impact, because you don't have uh, momentum, you need that strong body vibration. That whole body needs to <sighs> vibrate. <sighs> if you have a look at my, I even grip with my toes. I grip with my inner thighs. I compress down to the right height where I'm still able to keep my pelvis forward, my butt forward. And at that point, watch. <sighs> now, false, another fault that people fall into is that. I, I always see people doing Nijushio or Unsu, and that hip is to the side. By putting the butt forward and contracting down as much as you can, compressing down as much as you can, that would be the correct position for maximum e efficacy. That's my tip for today.